please, how do I cut off the internet for, from my NAS? Just cut it all off. <laughs> I don't want any ransomware, I don't want any hackers, I don't want anyone from outside world just to get in. All I want is I want to connect the NAS to a router and then I can connect to it from my PC, from my phone, as long as I'm connected through our Ethernet, LAN cable or Wi-Fi locally. That's it, just in local. So it's going to be my hard drive, which is accessible over the Ethernet. So they are getting these emails quite often now. So I was thinking like, let's shoot a video about this, so how to do that. Before I was uh, showing you how to do it using Snowgy router, uh, you could have an app. You can just say disable all internet on the NAS and disable that and that and that. Um, but there is easier way and an actually cheaper way if you don't have Snow G router. You can go for Snow G Firewall. And um, how to do that, you need to go into a Snow G and set it up. You can read this article if you want, I just um, made a manual how to do that. You can go through these steps uh, in the text form or you can go into Snow G. If you have forgotten how to go into Snow G, go find the Snow G.com and then you will be connected and you will be ready to do that. Once you're in DSM5, DSM6, DSM7 is exactly the same. Uh, you go to control panel, you go to um, security, and then all you need to do is just go for firewall tab. Once you go in the firewall tab, you will be able to set up your rules for accessing your NAS from outside the world or internally and inside uh, your local network. So click firewall, Click edit rules. If you have already set up rules, you can choose one of those. You can create a new one. Um, it's up to you, it doesn't matter. Uh, just make sure you enable firewall if you want notifications as well. Edit rules uh, and then I've set up them already here. But I'll just to go through with you, I'll show you how to do it actually. So let's delete these and let's delete that. So we create a new rule. First of all, what we want to do is disable all of the access from like everyone outside inside everything so you want to disable all or deny click ok that means that's it no one can get into a NAS so this is the rule so much you'll be looking at at the very beginning and then on top of this rule now we're gonna say like okay this the IP address or this group of IP addresses can actually get in so then what we do is do create and um, choose specific IP, select, and then choose subnet. So if your IP range is um, something to do like mine, 1004, uh, then you just type in then zero, whatever is your router IP address, that's what you type in, 1004, and then my one will be one. But in this case, the last digit just put zero. And subnet mask is usually 255, 255, 2550. If you have, if you don't know what's the subnet mask for your um, network, then just go to either uh, where's the network cards and network places. You can do right click uh, on your network card and check the what's your IP address, what's the subnet, or you can go to Windows R. If you press those two keys, uh, put in CMD. It's going to be a command line. It's going to like a DOS thing, and then uh, type in IP config and hit enter, it's going to show you IP and your subnet mask. So this is what you're going to put in here. If you, you can also go for single IP. If you want to only be able to connect to your NAS from your laptop only, then you go for uh, IP, single host IP. So just that one IP will be allowed to get into a NAS or IP range. For example, if you want five or 10 IP addresses to be allowed to get in. And um, there's extra configuration you can do. You can say like, um, okay, I want to block everything apart from video station or apart from photos. So you have those options there. You can go for ports, click uh, select from the list and you will have a list of all ops and options there. Click OK and make sure that deny thing is at the bottom. You can drag these things because that's the first rule it's going to check. Uh, from the bottom up. So deny and then allow this. Then click OK. And um, that's about it. Click OK, click Save, um, click Apply. That's all. Oh, it's already saved. Same thing on uh, DSM 7, just like DSM 6. S control panel, security, firewall, everything is exactly the same. Uh, in this case, I already 
I have disabled outside connection. This is a remote NAS, and this is the message I'm getting if I'm trying to connect to it. So no luck. That's good. So it works. Uh, so this is the easiest way out to disable internet access to your NAS. I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions, you can always go to NAS Compares, fill the form and write in the send email to info NAS Compares, and we're gonna reply with email or shoot a video like this so we can help you and you can help others as well. Cheerio.